what's up? This is Place the Movie Fan and welcome to my first movie review for our recent movie of 2015. I am going to kick the year off by talking about a movie that has been on many video lists of favorite movies of last year. And that movie is none other than Birdman. So without further ado, let's get started. This is basically a movie about a director of a play in a live theater. Now I'm going to talk about the characters of course, starting with the protagonist, Regan Thompson, played by Michael Kieron. This guy is a fucking asshole. There is no hiding or denying it. And he's a fucking asshole for so many reasons. First of all, he treats everyone around him like shit, wants to fire a good actor despite the fact that all the people watching fucking love him. And he is overall a very bad person. I fucking hate that cunt with a passion. There is nothing good about him. Normally an unlikable asshole would make for a bad movie. But if the asshole protagonist either learns his lesson or gets punished for being an asshole. I can enjoy a movie about an asshole. And you know what? He definitely gets punished for being such a dick later on in the movie. So even though I fucking hate that character, I am happy to see him getting punished. Next I want to talk about Mike Sinner, played by Edward Norton. This is a fucking brilliant actor. He can memorize a long script in fucking milliseconds. His reactions in his acting are great. And yeah, I was a huge fucking fan of that actor. And by actor, I am of course talking about the character in the movie who is an actor. I am not talking about the actor who plays the actor. Not only is the protagonist a fucking asshole for wanting to fire that guy, but I can't understand why either. I mean, he has a great fucking talent. Why would anyone want him to get the hell out? Now the third character of the movie is the voice in Rickon's head. Yeah, I'm counting the voice in his head as a separate character so that the voice fucking talks to him. The voice in his head is incredibly fucking annoying for the protagonist, I mean, but I personally found it to be very fucking funny. That voice in his head was telling him the motherfucking truth and that's why the voice in his head is such a great character. And I especially love that the protagonist destroyed everything because he wanted the voice in his head to fuck off. Yeah, that was very fucking funny. And there is also some unusual stuff happening in the movie. I won't tell you what, since that would be spoilers. But you will see when you see the movie. Now it's time for my overall thoughts. I personally think that this movie is overrated. I mean, I don't hate it, far from it. But I wouldn't call it a great movie. Despite that, there are enough things about it that makes it enjoyable and what I'm going to give it one thumb up. And just to make it clear, one thumb up does not mean that there are problems with the movie that prevented it from being awesome. The one thumb up rating basically means that it's a good movie but not great. And you should appreciate that I'm giving it that rating. Because that does mean that I do like it. Well guys, that's all I gotta say. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.